All right, guys, so today I wanted to review with you what makes some atoms radioactive and what makes some atoms not. So in order to do that, we need a band of stability, which is this chart right here. And you can see that if we look at the x-axis, the x-axis is our number of protons and the y-axis is our number of neutrons. So as elements increase in mass, the ratio of protons to neutrons moves away from one to one. What that means is... Um, if you're an atom and you're helium, you'll have two protons and two neutrons in your atom. And that's perfect and it's a one-to-one -one ratio, right? But as the ratio of the number of protons and neutrons moves away from this perfect one-to-one -one ratio, we start to see some instability in the nucleus of the element. And as a result, the element will begin to decay radioactively. And so this chart is really awesome because you'll also notice um, the different types of beta, alpha emission, um, positron emission, or electron capture. Um, depending on where a certain element falls on our band of stability, we can tell what kind of decay it's going to go through. So what you'll notice is that if an element falls directly in the middle where all of those black dots are you're going to have an element that is stable so it's not radioactive okay so all of those elements in black have as close to a one-to-one -one ratio of their protons and neutrons as possible now if you start getting outside of that band of stability and you're let's say way out here or you're in this red zone you're considered radioactive which means you don't have a one-to-one -one ratio of protons to um, neutrons and you're going to start to radioactively decay and depending on where you fall so if you fall towards the top of this line you're going to go through beta emission if you fall um, between the red line and this black line you're going to go through alpha emission and if you're somewhere down here you're going to go through positron emission or electron capture and we previously learned these different types of emissions and what they mean. Um, alpha emission is generally can be stopped by a piece of paper. It's not going to hurt you. Neither is beta. But once we start doing some of this other stuff, we're going to see um, more lethal types of radioactivity.